The aim of this video is to establish the center line of a spherical object we intend to make a mold of. So following the design development process we can start making the mold. The first stage of this process is working out the most efficient and effective way to divide your object or what we call positive into its constituent parts to make the mold. One of the key issues about mold making is avoiding undercuts. This important fact will be covered in much more depth later. If you have a spherical object, you need to accurately find the centre line. And this video shows you how to plot your centre line. First of all, you need to create a baseboard with consecutive rings raiding out from the centre marked with a compass. So the materials you need are very simply compass, a piece of wood and a ruler. So I've got a square piece of wood and a square and I'm subdividing that square to find the centre of the piece of wood. I then halve the square again as you'll see and then go through a process of getting the compass and making radiating marks. So I'm completing the consecutive rings. The next stage, what I need to do is make four registration marks. So here I'm making the first registration mark. I'm putting the compass end on the center line and I'm making the second mark, crossing the board, putting the point on the center line, making my third mark, and now the fourth mark. What is important here is that I don't move the compass as I want the same distance between each of these marks. Okay, so that is a, a crucial point. You can see I've, on this illustration the red dots denote where I'm now going to put my point. So what I'm going to do is create a series of marks of crosses effectively going up the surface of the positive. And those crosses, those center lines on those crosses will denote the center part of the form. In effect, I'm like running a pencil across. If you've got a mountain range, you've got the ridge. I'm running that pencil mark across the ridge. Each cross, you can see I'm making this mark, and I'm not adjusting the compass until I've done that one. Now I'm going to adjust it, and I go to the next level. I make the mark. I don't adjust the compass. I make the third cross, which is now going at the form. I adjust it, I make first half of the cross, don't move the compass, and then the second mark. And what we'll see is a series of crosses going up that surface of the can. So when I've completed one side, I turn it round and I repeat the process on the other side. And those two lines should line up and they should form uh, an accurate division of the form in half. You can see here the crosses which I've joined up with a ruler. 